Trying to stay positive in 2020 is like navigating the mouth of hell with nothing but hand sanitizer to protect you. Is this it? Am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? But no one likes hanging out with a negative Nancy and the little contact we have with other people might be the best thing we have going for us. Remember, human beings aren't the strongest of animals, but we survived by building fires and telling stories. Do you think there was ever a boring caveman story? Like when your friend tells a story that goes on and on, it's kind of negative. So I was by the great mountains, and then they're kind of small, actually. And then there's that real hot mountain far away. My cousin got a fish there once. It was kind of slimy. Anyways, before I got to the mountains, I stopped by my aunt's hut, and she just kept, ugh, she's in everybody's business. And then this mammoth came and took out the whole town. So my aunt keeps asking when I'm going to settle down and get a hut of my own. I mean, why do we pray to the hot mountain anyway? It's just, what's it done for us? I find that when I get into a negative space, I start judging myself and then start making mistakes. Like these onions, I cut them way too big. It's because I started crying from the onion juice and I made them too big. Here's what you do so you don't cry cutting an onion. You leave that little cap on and then you cut around the sides. That's what makes you cry. <coughs> It's easy to push people away right now. We've sunken into being alone, like a goth kid at private school. It's easy to deny social invitations. No, I can't Zoom with you tonight. I've got to stare, stare out the window, and um, it's a lot of laying down. I'm really busy laying down and being sad. It's a full day, it's a full day of depression. It takes work to think positively, like digging a coal mine with your bare hands. It's easy to sit back and tell a long negative story that leads to nowhere. But if we keep doing that, we'll have no one around us. And people need each other, bouncing off ideas, moral support, just hearing a human being speak to remind you of who you are. Here's a tip. Use a little gelatin in your meatballs or your meatloaf. It helps it retain its shape and its moisture. Also, just use one egg yolk. Don't use the white. It'll make it a little too gummy. And here we go. Mix it. Gross, 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 gross. Mix, 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 mix. You want to make sure your meat kind of hangs out together. Put a little cling wrap on it and just let it hang out for a while just to get to know each other. And then when you're forming meatballs, have a little cup of water beside you and roll it in your hands. I believe it was Chef John who says, damp hands make smooth balls, correct? 2020 might be the best year we'll have for a while. We don't know the future. We can only mind the present. And that's it. Just like how I filmed these meatballs upside down. Yes, I meant to do that because Corona has turned the world upside down. While they're going, let's work on a sauce. Now you can use whatever kind of sauce you want. I would recommend using a little bit of cornstarch in your chicken stock to make a slurry. So it's a little bit of a thicker sauce. And here we go, the sauce is upside down. Yes, the world is uh, turned on its head. These came out really good despite the couple mistakes I made. Little sweet, little spicy. I spooned them over some polenta. I have lots and lots of leftovers. That makes me happy. They're very juicy. They're very moist. They retain their shape. Yum, yum. I can't wait to eat some more and share with some friends. Sometimes I look at an older picture of myself and think, I was sad then. Why? How much of our lives is spent feeling negative instead of just enjoying the moment?